Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about beds. Why I decided to upgrade them, how they work, and how I built them. So uh, stay tuned, this is gonna be awesome. So let's talk about why I decided to upgrade in the first place. So I had the disco beds, which were pretty nice beds that I bought off Amazon. Um, they were pretty expensive, around $350 or so. Um, and they were like little uh, portable bunks that set up. However, they were very time consuming to uh, set up and take down. So I decided to upgrade. So in making these beds, I re really thinking hard about different ways we can make this bed happen where we can get real mattresses into this toy hauler conversion. Um, because my toy, which is my side-by-side, -side, takes up almost the entire cargo trailer when it's pulled in. So I didn't have a lot of room to work with. I didn't have uh, spaces on the walls to put Murphy beds like others do. Um, I have a seven foot ceiling, um, but I only had about a foot to work with if I wanted to do like a drop down bed like I've seen others do. So we really got to thinking and we decided the best thing was to make a foldable wood structure that actually collapsed all the way down to the cargo trailer rear door or rear ramp and then I'm going to drive the side-by-side -side right over the beds. Oh yeah, I think this birch panel is the way to go. A little more money, but it's already sanded and it looks a lot nicer. This stuff's really heavy. All right, I got the wood home and I got it all cut. So each mattress has two 19 by 69 inch pieces of boards. Then I went ahead and sanded the corners and painted them with two coats of some white paint. I went to the ReStore and was able to find three and a half inch hinges for uh, standard doors. I got these for 20 cents a piece, so I went ahead and bought 20 of them. So what I've done is I already cut them and painted them and uh, put hinges on them so they fold out. So now what we have to do is attach them to this door with hinges. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the side of the trailer and I'm going to make a support that's going to go right here. Death by a thousand screws. <laughs> Drop it down like a pot. The weight is actually on the floor instead of on the walls. Now that I told you a little bit about this uh, new bed system, I want to show it to you. But first, we got to remove all the linens off the bed. All right, this bunk bed breaks down really easy and really fast. Here's how to do it. First, you remove the mattresses. All right, next you wanna get this top baseboard up against the cargo trailer door, but first we're gonna remove this two by four joist. That'll give us some room to work. Now we're gonna grab one of these straps. We're gonna go ahead and put this up against the wall. Strap it on. That'll hold it there for now. And we'll get rid of this place. And then we'll do the same thing with the bottom layer. like that. Now they're up against the wall. They're not going anywhere. We'll remove these two joists and then we're pretty much done. I 
that's all there is to it. Now we can store these two by fours right in the center of the floor and run over them with the side by side. There you have it, it's all, all picked up. So to put this bed together, it's really simple. You just grab a two by four, throw it in a back joist hanger. Now let's go ahead and grab another one. Cut these kind of tight. Might have to trim a little bit off that. Gonna undo your strap. Lift on the handle. There's the first. First bed's all ready to go, so we're gonna go ahead and throw the mattress on. work on the top bunk. Throw this on. Gotta watch my pictures. There you have it. So it's up in like less than two minutes. And you're all ready to camp. Hunter and I have already slept in this for two nights in our current configuration and we love it. It sleeps way better than the disco beds. Uh, it actually sleeps better than my bed in my house. Um, it's, it's comfortable, uh, it's roomy, there's tons of headroom, uh, it's structurally sound, and uh, I think it's a great addition to our cargo trailer. Here I'll show you the room that I have in this bed. So I'm about five foot 10 and uh, 160 pounds. And you see it sits really nice for me, really comfortable. I can stretch out all the way. It takes up about all the, the, the whole bed, but I'm actually totally stretched out right here. So it's nice. I can wake up and look around. I can actually, I have to kind of bend a little bit, but I can sit up in here if I want to. The top bunk definitely takes a ladder to get up to. I'm gonna go ahead and get up here with this two-step step stool to show you. Sorry for the moving around. As you can see, headroom isn't even an issue um, for a grown adult. I'm up here now and I've got plenty of headroom. As far as headspace goes on the top bunk, you can see I don't have a problem right now. Like I said, I am getting a little bit older and my back's starting to hunch over a little bit, but um, I'm pretty much just touching the ceiling, it's sitting up naturally. You can see I've got, I got plenty Plenty of room here, not an issue. Plus I have a hat on. Go ahead and show you what it's like to get down. It's pretty easy to get up and down right now. I think uh, the ladder is gonna make it even better. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video on my foldable cargo door bunk beds. Um, hope you found it helpful. Uh, it's something I've been thinking about and haven't seen anything like this on YouTube before or anywhere on the internet. I hope this gives you guys some idea of what to do if you're in need of bunk beds but don't have the space that the traditional bunk beds uh, require. And um, if you like this content, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll keep putting content out like this. Till next time, see you guys later.